1741, a man named Charles Jennings compiled a set of Bible verses and sent them to the greatest known composer in England at the time in the hopes that Handel would set those texts to music. Now, Jennings had provided Handel with the libretto to other oratorios in the past, but this collection of Bible verses was different. And Jennings inscribed the libretto with these lines from Virgil, let us sing a greater peace. This libretto is special. But to understand why, you have to know something about the time in which Jennings and Handel lived. It was the beginning of the modern age. The Enlightenment was in full swing. Scientific knowledge was considered to be the final arbiter of truth. Miracles were ruled out of hand from the very start. And people might have continued to believe that there was a supernatural being behind the universe, but fewer and fewer believed that there was actually a God actively involved in human affairs. And most people assumed that human beings were basically good and that we could perfect ourselves and our society through our own power and ingenuity. And so as a result, human beings had grown up, and we didn't need silly ideas like God anymore. Does this sound familiar? Well, against that backdrop, Jennings and Handel sought to write an oratorio that would wake people up to the reality of God and our need for a Messiah. One expert on Handel's Messiah wrote this about this particular oratorio. He said, unlike other oratorios, Messiah is not merely the story of a king, or a judge, or a general. It's the story of the king of kings, and lord of lords. Like other oratorios, Messiah offers drama, but whereas other oratorios present action that is limited in time and space, Messiah tells a cosmic drama that transcends both time and space. And although its plot contains minimal exterior action and few historical events, it is dramatic nonetheless. It is the incredible drama of humankind's deliverance from the tyranny of Satan, sin, and death by the long-promised Messiah. The story is told of a man named Lord Kuhl, who once complimented Handel on the entertainment that Messiah provided his audience. To which Handel responded by saying, Oh, I should be very sorry if I only entertained them. I hope to make them better. And so it is our wish here at Central Presbyterian Church that you would not only enjoy tonight's performance, but that perhaps in some small way it might change you. So thank you for joining us tonight. We give you the sign. <laughs>